Welcome back. We will now proceed to the third session of the conference, which will discuss about FOSS and its role in the government. The next distinguished guest to honor us with his presence is Mr. Hassan Allawati. He has 16 years of work experience with a qualification of MBA degree in business administration from University of Bedfordshire of United Kingdom. After attaining his bachelor's degree in marketing from Sultan Qaboos University in the year 1998, he joined the telecom sector through Oman Telecommunication Company. After that, he continued his career in the business area of the petroleum sector by joining Shell Oman Marketing Company. He then completed his MBA degree in Joint Information Technology Authority to work till date in the Digital Society Development Division. He is currently managing several projects as e-industry development director that contributes to connect the Omani manpower force and capabilities to ICT industry, seeking to convert the Omani ICT industry from consuming to a producing stage in, a long run, in, in the long run. It is my honor to invite Mr. Hassan on stage to present his lecture on FOSS initiative in Oman the facts and challenges associated with him. Hi, hello everybody, and thanks for still being here. Okay, I'm gonna just take you through a topic which says about how FOS is working in Oman, its journey since it started till date, and what are the main challenges that we are facing. First of all, I'm gonna start with Information Technology Authority. I know that many people confuse between what is ITA and what is Oman, so I'll just try to clarify that here. Uh, Information Technology Authority has a vision for uh, transferring Oman into a sustainable knowledge society. Now, when it comes to the mission, it's like the ITA is pioneering the implementation of E-Oman strategy. So here, the confusion is, what is E-Oman strategy? Simply like, I'll just try to simplify it. E-Oman strategy is the big umbrella, whereas the ITA comes down there to implement the a range of white projects of ICT sector. So, FOS is part of E-Oman strategy which ITA is trying to implement it. Uh, it's uh, aiming to enriching IT sector in Oman, uh, and it's uh, trying to contribute in IT production and innovation. Ah, this is Mr. Richard. He was here in 2010, where we had a first symposium related to FOS. He is more like a godfather of FOS. This is, the, this is the FOS roadmap that we have and are walking through, okay, as an ITA and jointly SKU is contributing with us with their efforts. So I'll just try to simplify, simplify it as following. We have the awareness programs where we started working on that since 2010 and we're still continuing doing it, where it has some awareness workshops, seminars, mainly in the colleges and higher education institutes. We started the capacity building, which is number two, in mid-2011, and it's keep working on, and where we just give some capacity, capacity building courses about FOS on different levels. And then number three, we have the FOS development, okay, where, which we have just started it uh, in mid-2013, and still it's going on. And it has things like encouraging the research and development through TRC and SKU, conducting competitions and awards, utilize the training and testing labs to develop FOS. Number four, number four and five is still pending, and that's our direction where we are heading to in the next phase. I'll take you through uh, one and two and three, what we have done, and we're gonna share some figures about that. So number one, awareness program. In the awareness program, we have the workshops. We have conducted more than 70 FOS awareness sessions in different regions of Oman. Uh, we are, we have, this is the second version of the FOS conference. Uh, we had the first one in 2013, and we are planning to have every two years the same kind of a conference with new, uh, with new versions. And it's happening jointly with Sultan Qaboos University and ITA. Uh, we have the open DVDs, which contain uh, about more than 50 
for software programs and software uh, applications. Uh, we have distributed about more than 60,000 uh, DVDs. Uh, we are utilizing the awareness sessions and different initiatives where we can involve the FOS in them. And also we have the FOS Gateway, which is hosted in Sultan Qaboos University, which contains uh, the FOS-related softwares, okay, which anyone can be able easily to download if they want to work out on the FOS applications. This is the previous version of our conference in 2013. Capacity building. Capacity building, okay, and we, have, we conducted some training programs and sessions, and as you can see, the red line shows we have the different uh, levels. We have the Linux certification track, and we have the non-certification track kind of trainings, and we have a third one, which is the FOS training for school, uh, school IT teachers. So in the first one, which is the certification track, we trained uh, around and certified around 62 people on the Linux Essential certification. And then we have the LPIC one. We have 152 uh, people who has been certified. And then we have the L LPIC two, where we, are, we have 12 people certified. The non-certification track, we have around 775 people being trained on that. Uh, all these figures are till end 2014, and it's keep going and increasing. Whereas when it comes to the third level, which is the force training for school IT teachers, uh, we have around 159 people who's been trained. So we have a total of 1,160 till end of 2014. As I said, like the figures keep increasing, and we have now crossed uh, over 1,200. So this is with regards to the capacity building. The third stage is the force development. Uh, we have signed five, around five MOUs with five educational institutes okay, uh, to implement the FOS within their uh, premises. Uh, we established three labs utilizing those five MOUs for FOS development. The first lab is in the Sultan Qabas University, another lab we have in the Middle East College, and the third one is in the Nizwa University. Uh, future labs, we are working closely with the Sohar Applied Science College and Sohar College of Technology and Apri Applied Science Colleges to have more labs and just implement such kind of a thing in other colleges. Uh, this is the opening uh, ceremony for the SQU lab here in Sultan Qabas University in 2013. First lab in uh, the Middle East College, which has recently been opened in 2015. Uh, Oman Summer of Code, which is part of our uh, third force development. Oman Summer of Code is a kind of a, a summer activity, mainly targeting students, job seekers, and employees, where we train and uh, implement a competition and business development program. It's inspired from Google Summer of Code activity. Uh, the objectives are to inspire young developers to participate in force solutions encourage champions to think creative, uh, focus on developing startups in most demanded uh, sectors such as enterprise solutions and mobile applications, and create a develop, uh, and develop Omani product and IP. It's happening once every summer. We started to do the first one in 2013, and this, uh, last year we had the second version of it. And this is the exhibition which was a side of the uh, Summer of Code activity in 2013. Uh, with regards to the statistics uh, of the Summer of Code, in 2013 we had 40 participants and we completed uh, through that competition uh, 11 projects. In 2014 uh, we had 50 participants and there were 21 completed projects out of that. So just to clarify, we have covered number one, number two, number three, and we are directing to number four and five, which is not done yet. But we have challenges, and that's why we are stuck somewhere within number three. And that's one of, my, one of the main slides that I would say here. The challenges are that there is a limited understanding of false potential benefits at, at most sectors, whether it's education, commercial, government, or private, especially with the decision makers, the big managers. Uh, and when we reach to their IT managers, okay, and try to convince them in government sector, uh, they have less confidence on force. Uh, technology due to limited force skilled resources. This is what they claim. And when we try to convince them more, sometimes there could be some political issues between the, the, his director or the decision maker and the IT uh, manager. 
The IT manager says, like, why should I involve force? And I put myself in trouble. It, if there is something happened as a crash or something like, I might be in trouble in front of my boss. So somehow these kind of things sometimes blocking us uh, to convince the IT manager as well. Uh, also, the third one, the third point that I mentioned here is due to the less market demand, the IT commercial industry is not in a favor to produce force-based products and supporting solutions. So again, I mean, like the market is throwing the blame on the government because the government is the key driver of the IT sector somehow from their perspective. And since there is no demand, so we don't want to implement that technology in our industry because I'm like, there's less demand. When it gets to the government, the government is blaming the market that we have no enough support from the market. That's why we are not very much in favor to, for, to implement the FOSS applications. Also, we have the education system, which is not very much in keen to diversify its IT curriculums. So these are the main key challenges that I summarized in four points. Now, what is the way forward direction for us like in Oman? We have a FOSS framework that we are working on with the Sultan Qaboos University, having a plan of uh, for the I mean, like coming uh, five years, 2016 to 2020, uh, where we're going to continue joining hands between ITA and KU to I mean, like implement and get into uh, get more into the uh, number four and number five, the technical support and deployment. But is that enough? No, still it's not enough to overcome the challenges that I stated. Where, because we need in our framework to have a joint hands between the customers, some people like from the government, private sector, the suppliers, like the entrepreneurs, business, businesses, developers, experts, ID, idea providers. And we need to have the policies and financial and other support in place, which we might be implementing it in the framework, but we need the joint hands to work with us. So my real message here is that IT and SKU seeking a support from stakeholders to collaborate with us to make this framework happening and implement it in the market. Well, that's all I have. Thank you very much.